figured out that the kicker, the hinging part of the top of the ramp, needed to be longer. Well, that was about six days before New Year's. And we needed about three weeks to redesign the top of the ramp. It was just too inconsistent, and in one of the changes that we made, we got caught out. Myself and another guy, John, were up on the crane and sitting there watching the truck go sailing past, and we're like, something's not right. At that point, it was everything I could do just to, to breathe. Um, it had hurt, hurt the cage a lot. It had compressed me up into to the truck. hydroelectric dam operators just upstream spotted us and turned off the water. So now the waterfall wasn't anything like it was when I first looked at it. So my last words to him were some great and famous words of encouragement. It's not that high. It's not that high, I said. It's not that high. It's lower than celestial. I ended up paddling into something that I really, really shouldn't have. Off he goes with all the commitment necessary, then floated down like a leaf. Try keeping up with Keir Dillon, the hardest working man on snow. Swamis, Keir Dillon, South Master Kayla, making history. Making oh yeah, history. yeah, history. All right, uh, there is word on the street that you are an MC of sorts. We do have footage of you at the US Open hosting the U.S. Open on the microphone. I want to know about this. Well, you know, got all them kids chasing my job. Right. That's why I'm coming in and taking your job. Oh, it's like that. <clears throat> Known as the godfather of wakeboarding, Scott Byerly wasn't content just leaving his mark on what's now the fastest growing water sport in the country. This pro wake boarder is busy pulling the same weight as a pro wake skater. Barely. Um, you know, what else, what can you really say? It's definitely a big reason why I am, or why I wanted to be a wakeboarder in the first place, was watching Scott, so. Watching the images that we captured to make this movie on an IMAX screen is almost as good as actually being there and experiencing the moment as we were making the film. High Octane. A new and original 30-minute action sport magazine show focusing on the lifestyle and sport of modern-day motocross mayhem. All the big boys and their insane terra firma style creativity bred on two strokes. Going off. We've got them all. The Metal Militia Boys, Brian Deegan, Seth Enslow. Those guys are insane. 